In a place neighbors call peaceful and picturesque, it's what could be coming soon that's causing a commotion. That's a health care facility there. This is going to be rows of townhouses. And These photos provide the examples of the kind of affordable housing Seattle's mayor wants to move into the Magnolia neighborhood. Not far from Discovery Park is where you find the plans to redevelop 34 acres at Fort Lawton. In this case, this is a bonus given to the city from the federal government um, to build low-income housing, and we desperately need it. So I think that's a compromise that I'm happy with. Elizabeth James has been tracking the long debated topic. It would happen in the neighborhood Kathy Bedore calls home. I think it's been a long time coming and it's uh, it's a good use of space. But there's strong opposition. So it's not just, you know, a cut and dried thing to rubber stamp all that. Elizabeth Campbell says she's combed through what the city's proposing and has concerns. It just the intensity of use. I mean, in, at its peak, it'll be like 600 and some people that'll live here. Kathy has concerns too. Concerns about schools that are bursting at the seams all over the North End, and concerns about transportation, public safety, public services. At City Hall, Council Member Teresa Mosqueda says they'll work on solutions. We will continue to invest in buses and schools, which I know is a priority of the community, but this allows for us to create parks and housing at the same time. More than 200 housing units that would help older adults who've experienced homelessness, as well as families and veterans. It would create a livable community with parks, according to the city. But when Campbell looks through these plans, she does not see enough green space. Parks are actually important. It's not just affordable housing. It's about also having parks. It's a debate not dying down anytime soon in this neighborhood. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.